Hey guys, Zach at Edwards here. Uh, today we're going to be showing you the uh, Outdoors RV 28 BKS. A uh, couple things to note out front. We got our uh, chain and power cord system that they started adding. It obviously keeps everything up off the ground, kind of night and neat, stored in one spot. Obviously a heavy duty power tongue jack, two 30 pound propane bottles, and then of course uh, a custom fiberglass front with the rhino guard and then of course metal checker plate uh, for rocks and that sort of thing. Uh, moving on to the side here, we got our inch thick insulated uh, cargo doors with the magnetic catch, the metal slam latches uh, hardware. So obviously it'll last a little longer than if it was all plastic. Rubber checker plate floor, and then a nice finished wall front and back for the uh, storage area. And then of course the battery disconnect. 30, 30 amp uh, power cord is included and then of course all our jack tools. Screwed clearance lights, diamond scorn skirting that doesn't shake if it's nice and sturdy compared to what you see in other RV units in the industry. And then of course our solar panel connect down low. If you have a, a foldable solar panel you can put it on day like today and then move it and then when you're going back home you pack it up. Uh, power awning, the metal weather shield up top to protect it from fading, the elements, that sort of thing. And then, of course, we uh, have the support in the middle, so over time, it's not going to sag on you. Outside speaker system, 10-gallon hot, uh, hot water tank that runs off of gas and electricity. Thermal pane windows, obviously kind of what we're known for with Outdoors RV. Down here we have our off-road X4 suspension package. So we got a, a more ride CRE 3000 shackle system, two shocks per axle, uh, E-Range Goodyear branded tires, and then of course uh, greasable uh, bearings. So you're able to do that when, when necessary and just pop the cap off and it'll grease the inner and outer. Uh, alloy steps front to back. And then of course the big cargo door, um, which will open up here. Okay, so inside the compartment door, of course, we got rubber checker plate floor. The bottom bed's on a strut, lifts up nice and easy. You'll notice these all plywood, you know, solid wood here. We're not we're not dealing with chipboard, that sort of stuff. It's all quality built materials. And then of course this opens up a big a big storage space. So you have lots of room to kind of store stuff when you're going out, in addition to the front compartment storage. And then to pull it down, it's just an easy pull sits in the space and then the door closes a couple quick things just on the back uh we got our our wide uh bar ladder you know it's stiff it's not going to shake kind of what if you've had a trailer you're going to notice that with a lot of the other ones they're skinny and they kind of feel like they're going to break walking up this one's obviously quite a bit more heavy duty than that and then of course led lighting uh, we'll go around the other side, show you a couple things there, and then we'll hop into the coach after that. Okay, so a couple quick things on this side before we go inside the unit uh, is obviously our dump station. There's a, a light here, of course. The shower is conveniently located in this, and once again, we got our inch thick, uh, inch thick cargo door, and then of course the magnetic catch. Uh, the unit does feature a black tank sandy flush system, so when you drain your black tank, this will spray water into it to kind of clean it out in addition to just gravity drain. Uh, down low, it's going to be a little hard to see on video, but we've got our gray and black tank uh, valves here. And you'll notice they're inside of the frame rails, so they're insulated. Uh, so same thing, not out to get damaged, that sort of thing. And then when you have the air, the hot air that's going underneath your underbelly, it's going to keep them from freezing up. Uh, a couple other quick things just since we're under here is underneath the slide, you'll notice it's all finished in fiberglass. It's not like a tarp-like fabric material. So that will hold, you can see the seals and how the channels run and it's a nice heavy duty seal. It's not cheap. And if you see it in person, of course, you'd be able to feel that. And then also mud flaps. And that's something unique these guys, uh, these guys being Outdoors RV do, is they put a mud flap there just to kind of protect this. And it's not a big deal, but it is some uh, something they do that's kind of a nice touch for that off-road user. So short of that, we're going to go inside the unit and show you some more things. Okay, so in the unit, guys, a uh, couple quick things we're going to break up into about three segments we're going to focus on the middle of this first one so a couple things to note is the sofa bed 
a nice kind of leather like feel and it will fold out to obviously a queen size bed or close to the dinette which also drops down to a bed it's got the nice wider table and because of the support system it's actually fairly stable which may not be familiar with in an rv uh five inch thick cushions so these things over time aren't going to get broken in like you'd find with a lot of uh, less expensive alternatives and then of course the residential style drawers which can actually hold uh, i believe it's up to 100 pounds and you'll notice there's plywood here and lots of storage and then of course in behind it you can store it as well uh up above you may or may not be able to see it but we got a skylight to let a lot of natural light in uh, our tank heater switch of course it does feature the 12 volt uh, heat pad on the fresh water tank and then our our control switch is here the extension and kind of a stone like countertop you get lots of counter space a dual uh, stainless steel residential shower with the pop out uh, faucet lots of cupboard space down low and then drawers of course throughout uh, glass oven and then of course a glass cover over the range to add functional counter space hardwood panel Norfolk fridge and then a big pantry I'll sneak by a big pantry right here for for that much more storage uh, built-in DVD player it is Bluetooth as well that will run the speakers outside as well as inside of course our power controls for this uh, the slide out in the awning and then there is a 12 volt uh, Jensen LED TV that does come with it. Of course, uh, due to recent thefts and stuff, we have to remove it for the sake of sitting on our lot, but it is there, so you have to try to picture it here. Uh, we're going to show you the bedroom now. In the bedroom here, obviously, we got our nice uh, queen size bed. It's got the Mountain Comfort Premium Euro Top Pillow Top Mattress. Uh, there is, of course, storage under there, and it's on a plywood, plywood panel. Max Air Fan in the roof or in the the vent of course with a remote to control so if you get hot or cold in the middle of the night you can just reach over or have the remote close to your bed and, and turn that on or off uh beside the bed it might be a little hard to see in the video but there's usb ports and uh residential style plug-in outlets for charging devices phones that sort of stuff and then of course reading lamp just up underneath here um over on that side we have blocking for a tv should you decide to add one as well as the applicable hookups and then the unit is pre-wired for solar panels on the roof. And this is where the controller would go if you decide to, to put that in there. Um, there is a hard wood sliding door to kind of keep it broken up from the living area and the kids area. And then, of course, the wardrobes beside. Uh, other than that, we're going to show you the bunk beds and bathroom and be done with the 28 BKS. Okay, so right by the entry door, the main entry door, I should say, because there is one in the bedroom, is we got a nice big wardrobe. Everyone always asks us, you know, there's no spot to store my coats and boots and stuff. And of course, you got a little spot for boots underneath, coat closet here, and then maybe a hat, toque, mitts. And it's, it's substantially deep. Obviously, it's the width of my arm deep in here. So that's one thing we always get asked about. And for the first time in a long time, I say, we got it right by the door. Uh, the bunk beds themselves are obviously a, a wider bed. Uh, a little hard to see, but there is USB ports and outlets just up top there. And there's a couple down here for charging devices. And then, of course, lights for both LED lights. Uh, moving over to the, the bathroom or into the bathroom, we should say. Kind of neat. Uh, a window into the bathroom itself. And then, of course, the Max Air vent fan for obviously cooling a little uh better quality than the standard industry standard 12 volt and then we have our toilet lots of knee room and then of course a tub with a, a skylight up above uh short of that if you have any other questions feel free to reach out to us 403-845-3328 or uh answer a question on or answer fill a form out on the website thanks